Hey Bulldogs, we're back with Guess the Artist. Let's get started. One of their most viral songs is Snooze. This artist has won 27 awards from 68 nominations. This artist is 33 years old. If you guess SZA, then you are correct. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, that's your host, Aiden, back with Would You Rather. Would you rather have water taste like your favorite drink or vegetables taste like your favorite food? Um, vegetables taste like my favorite food. Why? Because you can still eat and have your favorite food. Let's see what he thinks. I want us to do water so I can keep on drinking water and I won't have, so, so I can go pee every, I mean, I mean uh, so, so I can drink water every day, you know? Would you rather have mobile superheroes by your side or DC? DC. Why? Oh, uh, I'm just a DC person. I'm a DC nerd, by the way, yeah, yeah. Let's see what he thinks. Um, uh, Marvel because um, it's really interesting and I like how like all the characters are like strong and stuff. Hey ho Bulldogs, I am Braden today. I don't want to be quiet for some movie facts. Did you know that the first cinemas were open in the early 90s? Films were originally made without sound. Also that films were originally made in black and white. And when films began to be made with sound, they were known as talkies. That is all for today, Bulldogs. I will see you next time for another Brain Break. What's good? It's Io, back with Are You Smarter Than a Teacher. Today, we have Miss Beretta against Aiden. Question of the day is, how many years are in a decade? 10. 10. You got that correct. You are smarter than a teacher, Aiden. Let's go. All right, Bulldogs, I'm out. It's Kevin again with your weekly tip for success from Artistic Miss Ye. So one tip I have for students is to just communicate with your teachers. Um, as the end of the year is coming, um, your grades are also um, coming to an end for the school year. So just make sure you communicate with your teachers um, about things that you want to turn in or if you can turn them in. We know that things happen at home or outside of school that can get in the way. So just make sure you communicate with your teachers and ask them um, whether that's email or in person. Hooray, what a spectacular tip from SEA. Hey Bulldogs, it's Edwin with your weekly reminder. Next week Wednesday will be the last day for SBA testing, so do your best. Remember to get to class on time, Bulldogs. I'll see you next week with your weekly reminders. One person can make an impact. One person can change the world. One person can cause a ripple effect. One person can make a difference. One person can make a positive impact, and our lunch staff has a tremendous influence on our Baker community. Over 700 students make their way through the lunchroom every day. There's more than meets the eye when it comes to their daily responsibilities. Just like a classroom teacher, they have the cafeteria and kitchen to maintain. Our lunch staff take pride in making sure the cafeteria is a clean and welcoming space. They make sure there's a place to sit and eat that is safe and hygienic. Cleaning up after that many students a day, now that's a lot of work that takes attention to detail and dedication. They are the first to walk through the threshold bright and early to prep food and make a difference in our students' day. They take the time to ensure students feel valued by greeting them, checking in, and most importantly, their warm smiles and even hugs when students need it most. Our lunch staff make an impact in our school by planning and preparing food, keeping everything clean and organized, and to ensure the necessary food supplies and so much more. We appreciate our cooks, cashiers, and helpers for all the work and time they put in to make sure that we have a meal ready for our Baker community. Hi, I'm Larissa. We have a good team. Each us of is good. I am very proud to work in this team. Hi, I'm Ms. Barb and I'm going to talk about Miranda. She works good with the children. She makes sure that if they need anything, she goes all out her way to make sure to meet their needs. And she's a good co-worker. Hi, I'm Kathy. And I'd like to just highlight Barbara Child, who's Ms. Barb, you guys, and she knows a lot of you by name and she's always there to listen and hear what you got to say. Um, yeah, I'm picking Vicki. Um, she's uh, an, an awesome employee. She's 
always helping out by helping out the rest of the staff all the time. She's super energized, always has a smile on her face. She's always bringing up everybody, everybody's, uh, you know, willingness to work and everything. And she helps out the students by getting us all ready and putting us in a better mood. That's who I pick is Vicky. Hi, um, my name is Ari and I've been working here at Baker about a year ago. What I like the most to coming in to work every day is that we have a great team here in the kitchen. We always work together, we help each other. So Kathy is our cook manager. She is very organized creative and fun and she's always making sure that we prepare and serve the best quality of food for all of the students. Thank you. Hi, my name is Vicky. I work in bakery school cafeteria as a helper. It's since last January 2022. So I really like to work in such a good and friendly environment. So I want to say thank you to Kati to come to our school and really organize the kitchen and everything. And I really, really lo love to work at Baker. Thank you. Thank you guys for making sure we have the right nutrition. Thank you lunch staff for making good food, being respectful to all the kids and being really nice and serving us this good food. You guys are awesome. I appreciate how much effort you guys put into making our food. Thank you for giving us food each day so we have energy. Thanks for giving us the right nutrition. Thank you for making sure we have meals throughout the day. You guys are awesome. Thank you.